students i hope you all are doing well and are also studying today we are going to start with our next chapter in grammar part the name of the chapter is parts of speech we'll understand the chapter through a video so let's see the video hey who are you we are parts of speech i'm noun i'm pronoun i'm verb i'm adjective i'm adverb i'm preposition i'm conjunction i'm interjection okay okay your parts of speech your noun your pronoun your verb your adjective your adverb your preposition your conjunction and your interjection let me count 1,2,3,4,5,6,7,8 there are 8 parts of speech all right but what's a part of speech a part of speech is a word with a special job in a sentence uh, what do you mean just as a person can be a doctor lawyer engineer artist singer or driver a word can be a noun pronoun verb adverb adjective etc just as a doctor has a special job in the community a noun has a special job in the sentence oh okay so now tell me a little about yourself what do you do um, a noun a noun is a word that names a person place animal thing or idea let me repeat that a noun is a person no no a noun is a word that names a person oh okay a noun is a word that names a person place animal thing or idea can you give me some examples of noun no problem here you go Sheila is playing with a ball in the park can you find a word in this sentence that names a person? Sheila. Yes, Sheila is a noun. Now, can you find a word in the sentence that names a thing? Mm, ball. That's right, ball is a noun. Can you find one more noun in the sentence? Uh, park is the name of a place. That's awesome! You found all the nouns! There are thousands and thousands of nouns. Here are some nouns. There are different types of nouns. You'll learn about them in another video. Wow! Thank you now. You made it easy for me. Now, pronoun, can you tell me a little about yourself? Sure, I'm pronoun. A pronoun is a word that is used in place of a noun. Look at these sentences. Harry is a boy. Harry lives in London. London is a big city. Now look at these sentences. Harry is a boy. He lives in London. It is a big city. The words he and it are pronouns. They replace the nouns Harry and London. Words like I, you, he, she, it, we, and they are pronouns. You'll learn more about pronouns in another video. Thank you, Pronoun, for that great introduction. Now, who's next? I am Verb. A verb is a word that shows action, being, or possession. Let me give you some examples. I jump. Jump is a verb. It tells about action. Words like jump, eat, sleep, walk, read, swim, and drive tell about different actions. They are verbs. 
He is my friend. The word is tells about being. M is are was were. All these words tell about being. They are verbs. I have a car. Look at the word have. It shows possession. I have a car means I possess a car. Have, has, and had are verbs that show possession. Well, let me repeat. A verb is a word that shows action, being, or possession. We'll learn more about different types and tenses of verbs in another video. Now, adjective, it's your turn. Hello, I'm adjective. An adjective is a word that describes a noun. It tells about what kind, how many, how much, what color, how old, how big, etc. For example, what kind of flower? A big flower. Big is an adjective. It describes the noun flower. What color flower? A red flower. Red is an adjective. It describes the flower. How many flowers? One flower. One is an adjective. It tells us more about the flower. Now look at some adjectives here. And don't you worry. We'll learn more about adjectives in another video. We'll learn adjectives that describe people, food, weather, feelings, and many, many more. It's my turn now. I'm adverb. Okay, adverb. Tell us about yourself. An adverb is a word that adds to the meaning of a verb, adjective, or another adverb. Let's see some examples. The little children played. Here, little is an adjective and played is a verb. Let's add more information to these words. The very little children played well. Very and well are adverbs here. You get these adverbs by asking the question how. How little? Very little. Played how? Played well. How well? Extremely well. Extremely and well. Both are adverbs. Let's ask one more question. Played when? Yesterday. Yesterday is an adverb too. So, if you want to get an adverb, just ask the question how, when or where to a verb, adjective or another adverb. Is that right? Yes, that's right. And did you know a lot of adverbs can be made by adding ly to an adjective? You can see these examples. Thank you, adverb. That was awesome. Now, let me introduce myself. I'm preposition. Go ahead, preposition. Sure. A preposition is a word that shows the relation of a noun or pronoun to another word in the sentence. Can you please give us some examples? No problem. Here you go. A preposition can tell the position of something. The cat is on the table. The table is under the tree. A preposition can tell the time when something happens. Our test is on Monday. The sun sets in the evening. Here are some common prepositions. Well, thank you, preposition. We have a different video where we tell you everything about prepositions. Whose turn is it now? Ah, you. Conjunction. There you go. Hi, I'm conjunction. A conjunction is a joining word. It connects words and parts of a sentence together. Look at these two sentences. He is singing. She is dancing. You can join them together with a conjunction. He is singing and she is dancing. Karma is singing 
but his sister is reading. And and but are two very common conjunctions. Now read these sentences. The conjunctions are in red. Say what parts they are joining or connecting. Last but not the least, interjection. Welcome. It's my turn. Yay! I'm interjection. An interjection is a word that expresses a sudden or strong feeling. Here are some common interjections. Wow! Thank you, interjection. Thank you, everybody. It was great knowing all of you. So, as you saw the video, I hope you understood the different parts of speech well. So, we will be doing the exercise later. Thank you.